Welcome to Charu at Home. Today's recipe is going to be apple and strawberry crisp. Hi, this is Charu. Welcome to my home. Tonight I've invited some guests over for dinner and I have a dessert planned in this cold weather which is going to be just perfect. It's strawberry and apple crumble. All right, the first thing I would suggest to everybody to have is a flat platter, not a very deep one, so that the dessert looks good when you present. And the ingredients you need is a stick of butter, half a cup of chopped almonds or slivered almonds, one third cup of white sugar or brown sugar, and half a cup of oats. You can also add more oats if you like more oats. And the star of the dish is strawberries and Granny Smith apple. So let's start peeling the apples and dicing them. Add our strawberries and we'll get to the next step. So while making the strawberry crumble and the apple crumble, the first important step is not to wash the strawberries under the tap water. Just have a little uh, clean, damp towel and clean any of the dust particles that are there on strawberries. All right, I've diced a pound of strawberries and I am peeling my Granny Smith apple and I'm going to dice them and put them all together in the bowl. After dicing strawberries and apple, make sure you squeeze one lemon juice on top of it. The apples won't change color and it will still stay bright and the lemon will give a nice tangy taste to the dessert later. We are going to add some cornstarch, about 2 teaspoons or a little bit less depending on your quantity of dessert. And the reason we are doing it is so the dessert later is not runny and watery. I think it's very important to do the prep work when you have a guest coming over. So what I've done is these are diced strawberries and 3 Granny Smith apples with some cornstarch and uh, lemon juice so the apples don't, don't change the color. And I'm going to refrigerate them. And in a bowl I have a stick of butter, half a cup of almonds, and I'm going to add sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to not add oats until I'm ready to bake. That means once we are almost through with the dinner or we are getting started with the dinner, I'll add the oats and I'll put the dessert in the oven and then I'll start. The reason why I'm not adding the oats right now is because of the butter, it's going to melt and get soggy later on. And my son really likes cinnamon, so I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon. It's up to you. I'm going to put half a teaspoon. If you like cinnamon, go ahead, put it. Nutmeg too. If you don't, you can skip it. Bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees and serve it with vanilla ice cream. Enjoy!